Hey there everybody, I'm Jade Star, and this is Mountain Blade. I'm gonna put this up in Frank Dramatic Short Game Theater Mark III, and I'm gonna get to it when I can. I mean, if you followed me, you kinda know I take my time with my LPs, and I'm sorry, but I'm busy. But it's a Frank Dramatic thread, it'll be around until 2013. I've got my time to finish up with this. I'm just gonna record this in my off time, and we're gonna have a nice casual LP of it. So you might think, Mountain Blade, you've heard that name around before, it's a really great indie game, I suggest you all go take a look at it if you want to, uh, I think it's tailworlds.com, or there's an LP of Mountain Blade Warbands, the slightly newer version that includes multiplayer going on right now, but um, I'm doing Mountain Blade regular, but I'm doing it with a mod, Extended Gameplay 3, and we're going to be video. Fuck screenshots, it's video. Alright. So, I'm going to try to explain some of the changes Extended Gameplay 3 does, but as a general rule, everything is bigger and grander and in a larger scale uh, than regular Mountain Blade, in case you've ever played it before. So, we'll start a new game. So, let's see, male, female, go back, male. Alright, now normally you get to choose a couple things, like, you know, your background, like, oh, when you were a little kid, were you a squire, were you an orphan boy, were you a thief, stuff like that. Uh, extended Gameplay 3, you've got these five choices, and what these choices are, are character builds. They are really going to lock in what kind of a character you start with. For instance, the Mountain Steep Prince is a horseman. Uh, the Kagurt Clan is all about mounted combat, and in this case, this guy is trained with horse archery. So this guy is a horse archer character. But his weakness is, is that he can't develop the Iron Flesh skill, uh, which, if you haven't played, is basically a skill that grants you more hit points, and in this game is a, also a uh, passive resistance to death. Uh, you can permanently die in this game rather than being knocked unconscious, and Iron Flesh helps prevent that. So this guy is a horse archer that's a little bit frail and not to be in close combat. All of the characters have some disability, or, I guess, handicap. For instance, the hunter cannot develop horse archery skill. This guy is kind of like what you would imagine a ranger to be. Light armor, low carrying capacity, but just give him a large bow and he will drill holes through people with it. Um, can't put him on a horse. Actually, I think you can put him on a horse, but fuck if you're ever going to hit anything with a bow on it. Uh, the old knight is pretty much exactly what it says. An older gentleman that is not very quick, so he can't train athletics, which means he's going to be slow if he's ever on foot. But this guy is heavy cavalry to the letter. Starts with a good sword, heavy armor, heavy war horse, and this guy is all about lancing and sorting people. Uh, for the purposes of the demo, I think I'll just pick a wandering barbarian. Again, this is going to be up to you guys. But uh, this guy is all about infantry ferocity cannot develop the shield skill. This this is offense. This guy is about stabbing people with big fucking weapons. Uh, you get one of three perks. These are going to be the same for all, anybody you pick. You can have great wealth and reputation. You can have a great constitution and great charm and wisdom. Um, essentially, these are worth... All these traits are essentially giving your character two free levels worth of points to assign, except for the 30,000 gold. As a Barbarian, and I'm probably going to pick this for whoever the heck we go with, uh, is going to be great constitution. Strength and agility, always good. And that's it. Those are the choices you get. Normally, in regular Mountain Blade, you get like seven choices that slowly develop your character. But that's it. I'm just going to click Allow Me to Save Without Quitting, or Quit Without Saving, because probably not going to save this one, just like all my previous tests before this. Okay, so here we are, inventory screen, or character development screen. In the bottom left, we have our attributes, and as you can see, they are incredibly skewed towards strength. In the middle, we have our skills, and as you can see, power throw at 9. And, let's see, wound treatment at 5. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. And prisoner management at 4. Power throw at 9. <laughs> that's, that's 9 levels of just putting points into that. So these characters come pre-built towards a specific role. This guy is already really, really good at throwing spears or hand axes or whatever we'll get. Uh, over here in the weapon proficiency, you can also see he's really good with two-handed weapons, pole arms, and throwing weapons. So this guy is going to be using, I don't know, a two-handed axe, throwing smaller axes. You get the idea. 
Um, we got a couple points to assign. I'm gonna put a couple points into our lack. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck it, it doesn't matter for the purposes of this. Um, you know what? I would put in the leadership. Leadership is always necessary as a character, but fuck it, for the purposes of this show, I'm just gonna... There we go, power strike seven. So seven times eight, 56. So we do 56% more damage with each melee strike. Hoorah. Uh, I'm just gonna dump these points because we need to to get on. And as a barbarian, we need a sample name. Oh yeah, yeah, there's only one choice. Now you can try to make a nice pretty face. You can mix it up with beards, different hairstyles, different skin types. Um, honestly, I just hit random and that's a pretty nice barbarian. Well, your eyes look slightly wide. What's wrong with your eyes? Um, uh, it's a little squinty. Eye position? No, that's not it. Ira height? No, yeah. Ooh, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, eye shape. Here we are. This lighter. Yeah, there. there uh, yeah, okay. That looks a little bit more normal. But other than that, I think that that's a good face for a barbarian. All right. Cool. Fuck it. So, welcome to the world. Boom. This is what you get. Yourself out in the middle of a fucking frozen wasteland with an axe, some fish, a diary. Ah, uh, some throwing stakes. And a savage axe. Cool. Ooh, that's actually not so bad. <laughs> also, our armor is above and beyond what you might find in native uh, vanilla mountain blade. 36 bodies, 18 leg, is a lot. Uh, but that's kind of par for the course. That's our starting male in this game. Which really emphasizes the fact that if you don't have a lot of strength and power strike, you're not going to be able to beat through someone's heavy armor. Oh, we got a scarf and some hide boots. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we're a wandering barbarian. This this is uh, pretty, pretty par for the course, I think. So, let's do a little bit of demoing. Let's see. Let's just... Uh, oh, wait. First, let's show the world map. So, you can scroll way out. And you can see all the names and things. The big names are cities like Riveton. That is a city. Uh, there's a castle right there. And the little guys are little towns. I'll get into the importance of those later. Let's see, big things, big things. There's a nice little lake here. Cities, castles, training fields. Oh god, and, uh, and then if you scroll all the way out and then look at the uh, the coast, you kind of see the sky doing weird things. So we're, we'll just lower the camera angle and pretend that never happened. Actually, the water actually looks pretty nice. And if we unpause it, you, the waves even, or the water even moves a little bit, which is pretty cool in my book. All right, so where were we? We were way over here. All right, we're, so we're just gonna go to the nearest town and try to pick up uh, some people to fight with us, because fighting by yourself is a quick way to get killed. So we got five men. Okay, that's that's not really enough. <laughs> Previous test recording, I got seventeen. Alright, so we'll go here, Shalis. Hey, there we go. Boom. Oh, and what is we got some looters over here. Perfect. So let's uh let's go gank those looters. Come on, get it. they're running for me, but I'm faster than them. Out for a stroll, are we? Horse thief. Alright, well, let's see. So I've got twenty men against their five. Oh, baby, baby. Everyone fuck off. Spread out. Hold this position. So I want to get ahead of you guys just to kill something. Why are you lining up single file? God damn, I hate you guys. <clears throat> there are quite a bit of uh, commands you can give to your troops, and they are helpful. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh shit, they're on horses. I guess I might have expected that from horse thieves. I don't know. Man down. Alright, cool. Does anybody have a bow? I just realized not being able to use a shield is going to be a, uh, a real bitch. The uh, idea of, or in the act of trying to defend myself from mounted archers. Oh, th there's a guy. <laughs> this didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Oftentimes, it can be a good idea just to ignore the rider and cut the horse out from under them. Alright, everybody charge. 
These guys on the foot should just be quickly overwhelmed and just one shot it, apparently. Oh, incidentally, just because I feel like it. Friendly fire does exist. Uh, okay, that was fun. Uh, and I killed him. I don't care. Oh, then we can see. Actually, that's actually slightly more damaging than my starting weapon, but not nearly the range. I like weapons that have reach. So we'll loot some shields. I can't train the shield skill, but can I still use them? I guess. Cool. Alright, cool. So that, that was a little bit of quick and dirty combat. Let's go check out a town. Because as the game has been uh, developed and more funded, the towns have actually been fleshed out quite nicely. Let's see, let's go to the tavern. There's a ransom broker, which in case we ever get captured, he can actually negotiate for our release, assuming we have enough money on hand. Um, we can also sell prisoners to him. Uh, something they implemented in the mod that I like over the regular game is that higher level prisoners are worth more money. So if you go out there and capture a knight of a kingdom, the ransom for them are much higher than uh, capturing those looters we just killed. There's some mercenary crossbowmen. Orca. Guys with names we can recruit into our king or into our party. We can talk to him a little bit. Blah blah blah. So let's see. So he wants 300 bucks to come along with our party. We don't have that yet. Alright, tavern keeper one. I apparently have no business with this tavern keeper. Whoops, that's not the right button at all. So the town centers are actually kind of nice now. You got the guards sitting out there who are remarkably um, unresponsive to being battle axed in the face. Or vulged or glaved or whatever this is. See if they respond better to a projectile. Nope. Alright, good news. Alright, did I just. Whatever. Ooh, a guildmaster. You have a job for me. You want me to deliver ale to Warjag? All right, sure. We have a quest. I guess that'll be a good thing to do before. Uh... Ooh, ale. All right. Where is Warjag? Fuck. There it is. Way the hell over there. All right, we'll deliver some ale and call this a uh, call this a sample video. So there's always quests and fun things to do. And oh god. That is a pillaging bear clan. That is 52 men uh, with six prisoners. Pillaging bear clans are kind of where our character comes from. It's an addition of the uh, of the mod. The bear clans are just ravaging barbarians that are always going to be hostile to you, no matter what you do. And um, yeah, we want to stay the fuck away from them for right now. Oh god, they're faster than me. Uh, this is gonna go badly. This is this is going to go very badly. Um, let us let us take the high ground and admire this uh, the sunrise or sunset, whichever it is, because uh, <laughs> it will be our last. Oh, I can get a nice little dramatic screenshot here. I think. Yeah. That looks nice. Alright. Oh, they have cavalry. God damn it, you fuckbags spread out. Alright, he's down. Oh! Fucking. Oh shit, he's an archer. Ow. He's not an archer, he's throwing things at me. Yeah! What do you got? Fuck you and your horse. Okay, now we're fucked.
Okay, my entire line is killed, and yeah, and well, that is a uh, that is a pillaging bear clan for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. And, um, ah, after painful days of being dragged about a prisoner, we found a chance to escape. Yay! And so now we're back. Oh, hey, we actually still have all of our stuff. Ex actually, we don't have our throwing spears anymore. Hmm. Interesting about that one. Um. Because I don't need the shield anymore. Oh, hey, look, all my Vagir recruits are in this battle between a nobleman's party. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get back in there. Yeah! I can't control any of these guys, can I? Oh, no, I control the, uh, the ones with the green names, which is odd because all of my men are dead. Or actually captured, or dead. Charge! Also, yeah, the extended gameplay mod uh, is also really good at um, very large scale battles. Oh, that's an enemy right there. Oh, well, he's down. Wait, what the hell is that out there? Whoop, oh, no, that's the wrong button. That is a. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that kind of pillar of flame that looks like it's moving on its own is, uh, actually a pillar of flame that's moving on its own because it's, uh, I think it's an undead spirit or something. Uh, new addition. Um, I'm gonna have to be careful not to get myself killed on those things. Because, as you might imagine, giant flaming undead spirits are kind of dangerous. There we go. Ah, oh, I did it. Alright, one of the cool things about the extended gameplay mod is that you can actually pick up gear off of people you've not been conscious or killed. That's one of my own guys. That horseman needs to die. Over there. All right, look. Oh, I missed. Oh, he was front there. Well, I guess that's one way to kill a giant flaming undead spirit. They're also kind of annoying because they're hard to see where they are. The part oh god, it's looking at me. But basically they're a skull helmet with weapons. It's in there somewhere. There we go, I've dealt 140 damage to it, plus everybody else. And this thing's... Okay, it's dead, I think. Yeah, it's dead. We killed one of them. Fuck yeah. Wow, I didn't think I'd get to show off actually killing one of these fuckers in the first video. Well, I'm also fighting with an army that's not my own. I'm sure I'm... Yeah, this thing's killing lots of people. Oh, I think I'm Dude, we killed it! We killed... Oh, oh, what was that? I saw a shield... There we go. All right, now I can have a shield and a stake. That's cool. All right, what remains left to kill? Just follow everybody else. Ah, oh, okay, we've won. Yay! Hey, st st stab! <laughs> My casualties none because it was just me. Uh, but we got. Bunch of people hurt and killed, and we killed 38 people. What the hell? Fallen ones. Ugh. Hey, and I can, uh, we can. The people that were taken prisoner on the enemy side, we can recruit freely. And we can take some of their guys as prisoners. Which I'm going to just because I can. Alright, that was actually far more than I intended to show off, and I, I think 
I think that fight really is going to top delivering ale to Wurchegg, so we'll call it there. And um, if there's some interest, post in the thread, let me know what kind of uh, character you want. Uh, the horse archer, prince guy, dude, traveling merchant, I fucking hate you if you pick that one. The skilled hunter, the old knight, or the wandering barbarian. Alright, I've been Jade Star, I hope you enjoy this.